guys welcome back to my channel i feel like it has been forever since i've sat down and filmed a video for you guys i apologize for my absence i'm just really just trying to focus on personal things and getting things together as far as my business and my career and i'm back uh, i've been buying a lot of new different products so i will be showing you guys some of those products in this video um today's video's main focus is going to be on the new kylie cosmetics burgundy palette um in the beginning i think i said that it was the bronze palette but it's the burgundy palette um and this is it right here i pretty much try to use a lot of the colors in the palette so i can just kind of see the payoff texture fallout and all that good stuff i use this one this one this one this one this one this one and i also used these two right here so the only shadow i really didn't touch is this one right here so i really wanted to give you guys like a full full like i look with this um palette um i will be telling you guys how i feel about it at the end of the video so stay tuned for that um i think that's it so if you guys want to see how i created this super glowy burgundy fall glossy lip look then just keep watching for this tutorial i'm going to start with my eyes and of course i'm going to start priming with the mac paint pot in um groundwork i really like this paint pot it's been doing the trick so i'm going to apply this all to the lid And I'm going to set it in place with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Okay, so like I said in the intro, I'm going to be using the new Kylie Cosmetics bronze palette. Or this is the burgundy palette. And this is what the palette looks like. gorgeous gorgeous colors for the fall i have not touched this palette or swatched it or did anything with this palette this is my first time using it with you guys so i'm going to start by taking my mac 224 brush and i'm going to go into this color right here and i think this is called naked naked it's either called naked or penny she has the colors on the back but I'm still not sure like what order they're going in. So I'm going to just use this orangey color. And I'm going to focus this, focus this on the outer V. Whoa, pigment. going to go into this color right here and focus this on the outer V also and this is in the color brick and I'm going to go in with my Sigma E25 brush For my first lid color, I'm going to go into this color right here, and I think this is called LA. No, I think this is called Dubai. So I'm going to go in this, with this color right here called Dubai, and I'm going to put this on a small lip brush from Sonya Kashuk, and I'm not going to wet it. I'm going to use it regular at first just to see how the pigmentation is. And I'm going to put this on the center of the lid. Ooh. Okay, Carly. So for the other inner corner part right here, I'm going to go in with another sparkly shade from the palette. And I think this one is called L.A. And it's this one right here. And I'm going to focus that on the inner corner. And I'm going to spray my brush again. Wow. 
And then I'm going to go in my outer V with um, a dark brown just to kind of deepen up the crease area. And I'm going to take this color right here. And this is called Almond. on the brow bone with this champagne color right here and i think this is called um naked So now it's time to get into the face and I already prepped to prime my face. I'll put those products in the description box. But for my foundation, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation in 210 and 211. This is still my, one of my favorite foundations. Like I just, I can't stop using it. So I'm going to mix these two together and I'm going to apply them with my real techniques expert face brush like I haven't used this in a long time and I went to use it the other day and it it was life for concealer I'm going to mix two I'm going to go in with the MAC Pro Long Concealer and this is in the shade NW35. And I'm also going to go in with my Prep and Prime. And this is in um, Light Boost. To set everything in place, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D um, Translucid Locket Powder. So while this is baking on my face, I'm going to go ahead and finish my eyes up. For my waterline, I'm going to go in with this Kylie pencil in the shade Leo, um, or this is Court K. And I'm going to put this in my waterline. That's with the Kylie palette. And I'm going to take my Sigma E25 again, and I'm going to run this color right here and this color right here under the lower lash line. A new bronzing powder and I recently got something from the Mac and Selena collection and this is called I want to say techno cumbia or cumbia or I don't know but that's what it's called um, right here and I'm going to use this to bronze up the skin I'm gonna go in with my profusion angled brush that is my favorite brush to uh, it right here this is my favorite brush to bronze with so I'm going to get that bronzer oh it's pretty oh wow this is really nice okay, 
Okay, so now it's time to go into blush. And um, I'm not quite sure what I want to do for blush. I have two new um, blush and highlighter compacts from MAC. I got these right here. These are from the Nutcracker Holiday Collection. This one right here is Whisper of Guilt. And it's called um, Sweet Nutcracker. And this one right here is Peach. So I think I'm going to go towards this blush since it's more on the like cranberry fall shade. So I'm going to dip my brush into this. It's really pretty. Whispered of guilt. Like... This is like the OG of the OG of MAC, and I've never had this. It's like a dupe for Old Darling, but it's way better from what I heard. So, I'm going to spray my brush while I'm going to dip into the product. It kills me to put my brush in here. And I'm going to see what it looks like before I wet it. absolutely gorgeous and then on top I'm gonna go in with Jeffree Star's King Tut this is the most amazing highlighter I've ever ever it's just amazing it's it's amazing amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with some Mac fix plus for lips I'm not quite sure what I want to do I've got a dark lip here from the Mac and Selena collection and this one is called dreaming of you I also got her lip glass and I also got her new lipstick and I'm not sure how to pronounce it so I'm not going to butcher it like I did the duo but yeah and then I got this um, Ariana Grande gloss from MAC this is from her new Viva Glam collection and then I also got this holiday set from the Nutcracker collection from MAC and these are beautiful beautiful glosses but <clears throat> I think I'm going to use the combo that I've been using lately because I really like it. And it's the Viva Glam Lip Gloss by Ariana Grande. And it's Cork Pencil by MAC. So I'm going to start by lining my lips with MAC's Cork. one of these new glosses from MAC and this one is called Fashion Whim it's a super nudie pink gloss and I'm going to put this in the center Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look using the new Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy Palette. As I told you guys, um, my final thoughts on this palette is the palette is really, really nice. It's super, super, super pigmented. Like, it's really, really good color payoff. Um, wasn't a lot of fallout. Um, the shimmers did have a little bit of fallout, but the pigments are very, very, um, like, tightly packed, so they're not falling out of the pan and getting dented like some shadows do when they're more like metallically and glittery like some shadows do that I do not like um 
this color right here is a little less pigmented than I would like it to be, but it's still a really, really nice brow bone highlight. I think she kind of wanted this to be more of like the neutral in the palette, so that's not too bad to me. Um, the price point is a little insane. It is $42. Um, I did get this palette for $40 because she's doing free domestic shipping for orders over $40. So you're pretty much going to spend $40 when you go on her anyway, especially if you're getting more than one item. So that was pretty cool that she switched up the shipping because shipping is usually fucking $8.99 so um a really good palette I really did enjoy it. I can see myself reaching for it um no bad things to say about it I just wish that she could kind of lower the price for the people who really aren't able to always get something that is super super expensive but yes you guys this is the final look I hope you enjoyed it my highlight is absolutely disrespectful like it is disrespectful so i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed be sure to let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments and as always i will see you in my next one